Good afternoon, it's uh, Tuesday the 13th of October. Uh, newsletter should be coming to you very soon or should be with you already. Just wanted to go through some of the uh, parts within it uh, to cover it and just make contact as well. Thank you so much for your support uh, during this term. We know it's interesting times. We know that uh, transmission rates are uh, rising mercifully uh, in our area. They are much lower than places like Nottingham, uh, Lincoln or certainly the Northwest um, where um, our 60 cases or so in the 100,000 is significantly lower than 1,200, 1,300. That doesn't say that uh, mean that we are uh, at all complacent. We uh, are making sure that our system's in place and you're really helping us with that. A couple of things to go through. Can we just ask, um, we are going to say from Thursday onwards, if you want to start now, but Thursday onwards, we would say that um, people coming onto the school site wearing face masks, uh, we know that quite a few have asked about that. It's not that we've been saying no, it's just been waiting to see what other schools are doing. Uh, is working one in a couple of other local schools. So coming on and uh, leaving the site, if you want to wear your face mask, staff will be as well. And I hope you'll take no offence uh, at that. Um, staggered starts are working well. We are aware that people are, are coming earlier and earlier because after uh, about quarter past three, there's very few people uh, picking up. So if we can start moving back to original slots, unless you arrange that for schools, that would help us so much. We're just aware that uh, until we get some duck boards down on the grass outside Leo class, that's becoming a real pinch point uh, at the end of the day uh, because we've got adults and children and so many coming through together at the same time. So your patience there as well is appreciated. Um, but really, thank you for how you're moving around the school and supporting us with that. You should have received a uh, letter about parents' evenings, uh, Monday the 2nd of November. We've looked into this in, in detail. We were looking at uh, having to spend something like £600 to make sure that we had a video system that worked. And then we found out when it gets to eight minutes, it just cuts off, uh, even if you've got one last thing to say. So for this parents' evening, we are looking at using uh, phone contact uh, and um, we know that you've had the letter, you'll get a printed letter coming home as well. For Harvest Festival, uh, next Friday, sadly, we can't invite you in and that's such an important event for the school uh, with the Foundation Stage, Key Stage 1, Children in the Morning and our first Foundation Stage uh, event, so we're not able to invite our new reception parents in, which is really sad. Um, we will be uh, putting a collection of work and, uh, and, and what the children have been doing onto a film or a different way of sharing it with them that will go on the website and we'll advertise that through Parent Pay and through the uh, Twitter stream. Um, we will be supporting Agape um, differently this year because there is now a food larder behind St Mary's Church Hall in the uh, village. It will be Long Sutton Agape Food Larder. I would also stress, do look on the newsletter. We know things are tough for many of our families. The food larder is about just small number of items to support families. We know that during May and June, we supported uh, more than 300 children and adults uh, within the school community. Uh, and we're very keen uh, to support that. So donations, if they come in on Friday the 23rd, we will collect them, dry them down, and that will support the people of Long Sutton. And thank you so much for everything within that. A um, couple of last things, so um, absence calls, we're just aware at the moment um, we have um, the colds and, uh, and fluey season coming on top of everything else. If I could just beg your indulgence to ring us uh, or email in the email addresses uh, on the newsletter to let us know. We are losing quite a bit of time in the morning with myself, Mr Singleton uh, and office staff having to ring parents and ring contacts off parents uh, to find out uh, reasons for absence. Now we know that sometimes there are pinch points around 20 to uh, 9 until 10 to 9. The phone is manned from 8 and we're having a new phone system being put in so hopefully that will help. Um, but please if you could give those calls it helps us so much. A few questions about homework and obviously with pieces of paper going backwards and forwards and quarantining of homework. Uh, I would stress TT Rockstar's spellings and reading are central to everything we do. Reading is a big, big focus for us at the moment. We know that um, without that fluency and that confidence in reading, when children get to secondary, it makes their life so much harder. On top of that, being a reader is a real gift. Um, so... 
Uh, if you could really uh, support your children with those, TT Rockstars, we are launching a few more competitions. That always helps. And then finally, finishing with uh, two parts. Um, one, um, you'll see in the newsletter, Mrs Lister is uh, leaving us at the end of this half term, which actually clocks up uh, nine years for us, we think. Um, and I do want to mark this because she's been so central to everything we've done around the front of house, particularly with the improvements around the school and how that job has changed. And she really has been the public face of school. So I want to thank her for everything she's done. Finally, uh, today, Tuesday, um, you will have received a letter and some of you received phone calls. Uh, we have had our first confirmed uh, case of COVID. I have to say the support we had from Public Health England was superb. Um, I know for some parents there are queries and questions around um, why siblings um, may have one who is asked to um, be at home for 14 days and another sibling is okay to come into school. Um, I hope it's explained clear enough in the letter. PHE were very clear on the support they gave us and we're very pleased our systems are working in identifying what they're calling close contacts. Um, you may have children who are once removed contact, so that might be that they're in the class with somebody who was in contact with the child in, in question. Um, and we have run through all the scenarios with public health um, and we are very comfortable and they are very comfortable with the uh, decision made. It also runs absolutely in parallel to decision made uh, decisions made um, both in local schools in Lincolnshire, but also other schools we're aware of uh, around the country. So um, if you've seen this video and not seen the letter, there'll be, I think, several letters uh, available through Parent Pay. Uh, blue, please do take a look at that uh, and any uh, concerns or any queries, do contact us. But uh, in the meantime, thank you so much for your support and um, please do look after yourselves in these times and um, look after uh, your children. They are doing so well and they're being an absolute credit to all of you. So uh, look after yourself and uh, we'll see you soon. Thank you.